So how many of you have heard of inverted yield curves or inversion? How many of you understand what it means? Uh, then, then you're ahead of me. So we're going to look at the 10-year Treasury bond like we did before, and we're going to compare that to the three-month Treasury bill. What you can see is as the Fed raised rates, the three-month bill is going up and up and up. So to do this, to explain it, we're going to have a hypothetical exercise. And we all are a bank. And we're not just a bank. We're a bank that's a time machine. So I'm going to go back to 2015. And into our bank walks John Mira. John Mira says, Can I get a loan? What's a loan? <laughs> we say, sure, we'll give you a loan. And the rate for that loan today is about 2.5%. So we're going to charge John Mira 2.5% for that loan. In order to fund that loan, we need deposits. And in 2015, we're paying pretty much zero. So we charge John Mira 2.5%. It costs us zero. Our profit is 2.5%. We're pretty happy. Then our time machine jumps to 2017, and into our bank walks Steve Finnerty. And Steve Finnerty says, now, before you guys worry, remember I said this was a hypothetical. <laughs> In the real world, we would never give Steve Finnerty a loan. <laughs> but just for an example, 2017, the rate that we're going to charge Steve is 2.5%. And what we have to pay for our deposits is 1%. So 2.5% Steve's loan, our cost of 1. Simple math is we make 1.5%. We're happy. Fast forward to today. Into our bank walks Logan Finnerty, and Logan says, Ken, can I have a loan? So we say, huh, let's see what we can do for you, Logan. Today, as we mentioned, 10-year bond, 2.1%. That is the rate at which we would charge Logan. Our costs, however, are 2.2%. So if we made a loan to Logan, we would lose 0.1%. And even though we are a benevolent bank, we are a for-profit institution. We don't want to make that loan. We don't want to make it to Logan. We don't want to make it to anyone. And every other bank doesn't want to make that loan. So in this situation, over time, the economy grinds to a halt. And that's one of the reasons why, I'm sure you've heard, there is so much pressure on the Fed to lower short-term rates. So we as bankers, can charge Logan 2.1%, but pay our depositors less. And that's why people worry about inversion. 